creating object property verification points using FrogLogic Squish. Squish has three different types of verification points. Object property verification points, which is what we'll be covering today, screenshot verification points, and table value verification points. We'll first start by creating a script and while we're recording that script, we'll create a verification point. Verification points can also be created once you reach a breakpoint by recording a snippet or by recording a snippet at any point in your script. After we perform a few steps, we'll then use the control bar to select the object properties verification point type, which returns us back to Squish, where we can choose between script-based or property-based, the property-based placing it as a test case resource. We'll use the pick tool to select the object that we'd like to verify. And when we are returned to Squish, the object that we selected is now selected in the application objects tree. And then we can begin selecting values or properties regarding that object. You can select more than one property, and you can also select other objects and their properties to verify within the same verification point. Click Insert, and then we'll return back to Recording, where we'll click Stop. We can now see our script that we created, and the verification points are those last three steps because we selected script-based verification point. Let's click Run. and the script runs and at the end of the script as that's where the verification points located those items were verified and you can see that they had a past result showing you what was verified and the corresponding line evaluate today go to froglogic.com evaluate for your free 30-day evaluation and also check out our resources at froglogic.com resources where you have access to our knowledge base, documentation, other videos, tech papers, and information, as well as emailing squish at froglogic.com for support.